15 seconds. Two minus 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ignition, engine full power, and lift off. And this helps that 40 E. Go and help that. Go about it. Vehicle is pitching down range. And what the chamber pressure from? If you're just joining us, those gorgeous views on your screen mean that Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Pad 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. During nominal a power and telemetry. The call out there that nominal power and telemetry for the vehicle. During this phase, which is called ascent, we tilt the engines. The technical term for this is called gimbling. And that turns the rocket horizontally in what we call a gravity turn. We're Falcon 9 is supersonic. There's a call out that Falcon 9 is now traveling faster than the speed of sound. During this period, we're still going up, but we're also heading horizontally away from the launch Max pad. Max Q. Just moments ago, we throttled down in preparation for Max Q, which is the period of maximum aerodynamic pressure that the vehicle will see on ascent. So that's what's happening right now. The rocket typically needs to go about 17,500 miles per hour horizontally in order to avoid being pulled back to Earth and reach orbit. Now we're gonna have three events coming up in quick I'm succession. Starting with main engine cutoff, stage separation, and second engine start one. Main engine cutoff, or MECO, is the point during the flight where we shut down the nine Merlin 1D engines on the first stage. Shortly after that, stages one and two will separate from each other so that the second stage isn't carrying unnecessary mass to orbit. And of course, the first stage booster begins its trip back to Earth. The last call out you heard was about the MVAC engine. That's what we're gonna start up during SES-1 or second engine start one. That's the period during the flight where we'll ignite the Merlin vacuum engine on board the second stage for the first time. So we'll see all three of those happen back to back just about 10 seconds from now. Miko. State separation confirmed. And back ignition. So there you heard and definitely saw those great views on your screen. Three events happening back to back. Main engine cutoff, stage separation, and SES-1. Coming up next will be fairing separation in just a couple of seconds. During this portion of the flight, we'll jettison both fairing halves and then attempt to retrieve them again today. Both vehicles are following nominal trajectories. Fairing separation confirmed. There we've got confirmation of fairing separation, which means both fairing halves are on their way back to Earth to be recovered by our recovery vessel, Doug. Coming up next, there are two burns for our first stage as we prepare for landing on our drone ship, a shortfall of Gravitas. Acquisition of signal, Bermuda. We're now T plus three minutes and 54 seconds into today's mission. And we're currently, as you there see there on your screen, we're in the first of two planned MVAC burns that will occur prior to satellite deployment. At T plus six minutes and 31 seconds, or around there, you should see on your screen the first stage's entry burn. For that entry burn, we relight three M1D engines, which are the uh, those nine engines at the base or the bottom of the first stage. Uh, we will relight first the center engine, or called E9, and then shortly thereafter, we will also relight two radial engines, engines one and five. And all three of those together will help slow the vehicle down as it passes back into the Earth's atmosphere.
we perform that reentry burn in order to slow, uh, excuse me, to slow down uh, the booster, which helps to reduce those reentry forces that it sees, and in turn that helps us recover and reuse our first stages. Both vehicles continue to follow nominal trajectories. Although we can't see the first stage right now, you can follow along with the telemetry there in the bottom left-hand corner for stage one, and then that stage two telemetry there in the right-hand uh, bottom corner of your screen. We can see that the first stage is now beginning its descent uh, back to Earth, so it, it has already passed through its apogee, making its way uh, back down. This time we're targeting a landing on our drone ship, which is parked a couple hundred miles off the coast of Florida in the Atlantic Ocean. Now, during that entry burn, it, Falcon 9 is decelerating, is decelerating by firing its Merlin engines, but it's still moving very rapidly. This causes the vehicle to fly through Merlin's exhaust gases, also known as the rocket's plume. And by doing so, we get a deposit of soot on the, uh, on the vehicle surface. That soot then uh, basically comes from the carbon-based fuel that Falcon 9 uses. We're expecting that entry burn to begin in about 20 seconds. Everything continues to look good there. For that second stage, we can see that MVAC engine, uh, which is the singular Merlin engine designed for use in the vacuum of space, uh, attached there to our second stage. Stage, stage one, entry burn, start up. Stage one, FTS is saved. All right, so there on that left-hand side of your screen, those stage one views are back. We can see that entry burn has begun, and it's also illuminating the grid fins, which help to steer the booster for re-entry and also to make a precise landing. Stage one, entry burn, shut down. All right, we can see that entry burn has concluded. Both vehicles continue to follow nominal trajectories. As a reminder, the first stage that we saw there on the left-hand side of your screen, um, that performed the entry burn for the fourth time. It previously supported CRS-26, OneWeb Launch 16, and a Starlink mission. Falcon 9 is the world's first orbital class reusable rocket, and this is important because reusability allows SpaceX to refly the most expensive parts of the rocket, which in turn drives down the cost of space access. Terminal guidance. The next major milestone we have coming up is SECO, or Second Engine Cutoff 1, which is coming up in about 20 seconds. That will be followed very quickly. Stage one, transonic. And that call out tells us that the first stage is traveling near the speed of sound. That first stage will uh, begin its landing burn just after we have the second engine cut off. And back shut down. All right, there's that call out telling us that we had successful shutdown or cutoff of that. Stage one landing burn. You can see landing burn has begun there on that screen. Stage two FTS is saved. You can see those grid fins working hard to steer it back to the drone ship for its landing. Nominal orbit insertion. Great call out there indicating we've Stage got. Stage one landing leg deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. There you can see on your screen an amazing view as always. Uh, that landing marks SpaceX's 184th recovery of an orbital class rocket, including first stage landings for Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy. Uh, the mission isn't over just yet. We did hear the call out telling us that the second stage achieved good orbit, so it is now embarking on its first coast phase.